Hi there, it's Andy from JM Car Sales here, just to do a short virtual test drive on the Audi TT that we have in stock here. Just looking around the car, the car's got electric uh, mirrors and electric windows in the front. You've got automatic headlights, which I'll just set on. A couple of wee bits to do with the car, you've got your uh, voice control and your Bluetooth for your telephone. You control through your steering wheel and some centre console, if you can look here. Uh, it's controlled down here at the gear stick through your uh, right through the dash in front of you so you've got connectivity for your telephone uh, and also connectivity for your phone to play music uh, you've got a DAB radio and I'll just turn that up here on the steering wheel just to let you know but tonight they would stay it's very very clear this actually it's quite loud as you can tell and it's very very clear a couple of really cool features on the car. Down here you've got your uh, drive select. So it's on efficiency mode at the moment. But you've got comfort, auto, dynamic and individual as well. So that gives you sort of a different feel uh, as, as you drive. It's a six speed manual with start stop technology. And the car is keyless. So what we'll do is we'll well, the air conditioning on, sorry, I should say, the air conditioning is on and is blowing nice and cool, so that works very well. Uh, it is the 2 litre S line with the 230 brake, so it is the, sl the more powerful of the, uh, the TTs. So what we'll do is we'll go for a quick test drive, uh, and I'll go over some of the features that the car has uh, as a driving aid. So it's an electric handbrake, and just as you pull away, clutch very nice. The car's covered uh, just over 63,000 miles and it had just been serviced and MOT'd three months previously to now. Being the 2 litre, it is quite punchy, uh, just taking it easy at first. <laughs> so pulling out the junction there, it pulls quite nicely. Very nice indeed, actually. Uh, the ride, as you would expect, it is a sporty car. So it, it is quite rough, but not uncomfortable. Uh, if you've driven a car sort of like this, you'll know what I mean. It's You can feel the bumps on the road, but if you're driving a car like this, you want to feel that. It feels like you are connected to the road. And um, there's no knocks or bangs, anything I've heard so far from the suspension. Up here we'll do a loop round the roundabout just to let you know how the car feels. It's a bit it's just been raining quite heavy, so the roads are a bit greasy. And the car sticking nicely, there is zero body roll at all. The car feels very well planted to the to the road. Coming off here, it's a 40 zone, so we'll put to quickly takes the 40. And as you'd expect, we're getting to 40 very nicely. Visibility around the car, again, you've got plenty of visibility, uh, loads of room to have a look around. You know, not seeing anything due to a, a large pillar is not a problem. You've got great visibility at the front, I'll try and show you there best I can. And as a passenger, you can see plenty of the, uh, down the uh, the side of the car as well with your mirrors. So it's got good visibility. The car does have automatic headlights, like I said, and as you can see, automatic wind windshield wipers. So as it's fact, it's starting to rain now, they've just come on automatically of their own free will. And that's just one thing less less for you to worry about or think even think about when you're driving. Uh, after these lights, we're going to take a quick uh, blast down the uh, dual carriageway. 
where I can try and show best I can the uh, active lane assist. Now, this is an excellent safety feature on the car where it, it keeps you in your lane. So if you are uh, doing a lot of motorway miles, you know, you can sometimes get a bit drowsy and a wee bit tired. Obviously, the best thing to do would be stop, take a break, but until you get there, here this has got the lane assist. So just show the car pulling down. Up in the fourth, nice and smooth. At 60, in the fifth, nice and smooth. Then in the top gear, sixth. So what I'll do is I'll pop so the end of the indicator stock here. So I'm trying to show the best I can, it's just below the speedometer there. So I've looked around make sure we're safe for this. Let's try and drift out of the lane. It's it feels so we, it's hard to describe it, it sort of pushes you back in. We can try and show you there. If you, as you touch it, it pushes you back into your lane. So if you were to drift over, I don't know, into the uh, into into the uh, middle lane there, it will uh, it will push you back in. It's it's an excellent safety feature. It really is. I feel that it could be truly almost a, a life, very life saving thing that can't stress how, how such a, a, a massive safety feature that is. So, coming off into Inveramond, uh, it's quite a rough area, uh, the, the road, uh, just to give you an idea of how the, the car feels. So, going over bumps here, you're feeling the bumps, but they're not uncomfortable. Uh, it's the best way to try and say is. You feel the, the, the pothole or the drain, but you're not uncomfortable with it. You just know it's there. If it's probably the best way to try and describe it. It's quite hard, something hard to describe. You can feel it, but it's not uncomfortable. Speaking of comfort as well, the seats. The seats are incredibly comfortable in this. It's sort of like a, a half suede, half leather, and they're in excellent condition. Uh, given the mileage and the age of the car, there's no wear on them. Uh, they, they hug you, uh, and it's just a very comfortable seat to drive. So what we'll do is we'll take a left up here, and that'll take us into one of the side streets in Inveramond. And it's just to try and simulate the best I can as well, uh, sort of like town driving, stop, start, uh, how the car would be to live with, sort of if you're doing a wee bit of town driving or if you live in a major city. So again, nice there, biting points quite high in the clutch. Um, but it's not a worn out clutch, it is just the way that, that, that they are. You know, the biting point's a wee bit higher up, so you've got your foot just to go that wee bit high, high, higher up. But no, it's, it's very nice. There's no, uh, like I said, there's no knocks and bangs. The road is a bit rough here. Uh, it's really just to try and give you the best idea of town driving uh, that I can. Some brakes, the brakes are good. Um, they are getting new front uh, discs and pads and new front tires as well in this car. Uh, and the general finish of the car is is excellent. It really is. It's uh, it's just, it's, the interior is absolutely lovely. The steering wheel, the flat bottom sport steering wheel. Uh, it's nice and chunky in your hand. Suede uh, on the door cards. Very nice setup, centre console. There's very little clutter. Uh, if you know what I mean by like a cluttered car, it's not. Everything's less is more in the the Audi TT. Less is most certainly more in this car. But you're not missing out on anything. You've got all your mod cons, everything you'd want. Right here, that'll take us back up to the uh, the branch. Just as the rain's starting to come down now, you can see the the wipers have picked up the pace. 
on how fast they're, they're actually operating at the moment. So here we are, back at the branch. Let's put the electric handbrake back on. So if you did enjoy that short virtual test drive and you'd like to give us a call, please call us on 01738 248080 or visit us at gmcarsales.co.uk. Thank you.